Yo, what's up, people? So I finally got my car fixed up. Tailgate is now fixed and running, but really not impressed with how they made the tailgate. Is I think that's not a permanent solution. It's just a temporary solution for temporary moments. Like you can see the the bumper down one is still cracked. This one is broken already here somewhere, some place around there. So. The whole bumper needs to be changed, if at all, I'm here to continue the project that I want to do. Like you can see, it's a rare version of this car which has parking distance control, which was never in place in the first place. It's something that I made in the first, first moments when I got this car, like, I didn't want to make the hassle of, of getting the... <coughs> turning my shoulder all the time when I'm when I'm when I'm getting into a parking place so another thing that I yeah that's how the front looks like one light is a bit older than the other one this one needs also to be corrected a bit it's gonna it's gonna undergo a major makeshift if at all I'm made to if at all I must stick to my plan that I want to do if I stick to that plan it's gonna go it's gonna take a lot to change so I kind of showed you it has the parking distance and this is another feature which I built together with it like let's say when I post the music like when I wanna I wanna reverse park I don't have to turn my shoulder and everything so I have a review mirror over there so you can just see exactly that's the car behind me like the it's a review mirror but in the middle of the review mirror it has a, a monitor screen like it's showing like when I turn off to, to drive normal mode you s just see the normal mirror but whenever I turn to drivers it turns on so that's one of the few modifications that I made when I first got the car but yeah like I said five years down the line I haven't done anything else to it you know that was the major thing that I ever did to the car plus just putting a normal stereo radio like a normal digital radio I mean not a stereo digital radio DAB like what you call it so yeah <clears throat> like I just said so another thing the reason why I'm upgrade to this car I'm upgrade this car for just for fun you know because I want to do most of the things by myself I want to do most of the things by myself the only thing that I wanted to do first to let the uh, experts do was the tailgate, but which I'm 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 not thinking like that wasn't the wise decision. I could have just taken the risk, get me myself another one, and like mount it by myself, which is something doable. It's something I could have done, like you know, I just think like uh, I could have done it better by myself like change the complete tailgate by myself which i'm gonna do it so uh, nevertheless if i get to like now i've decided that i'm gonna upgrade it so that's that's the thing that i'm gonna do yeah speaking of that why am i deciding to upgrade it you know uh some some uh what do you call we're on the corona we're on the corona time now it's difficult time for everybody it's difficult time also for the car industries they got a lot of cars lying on the yard to be sold brand new cars i'm talking about brand new cars yeah you're wondering if i'm ensuring that so many uh, brand new cars on the yard that are there which are ready to be sold you know like car industry like vw Mercedes and everything they always produce not not uh, not by order but they also have that stock that's also produced already so there's too much lying around in the yards and this was my thought and also I read it at a blog uh, from another expert who kind of like mentioned it and I was like yeah that's the logic I was thinking about you know at this moment it's a uh, crucial time people not earning um, full amount of money most of the people who are like in um they call uh short job system over here good site arbeit skilled is the man that people are getting like basically now in the situation like corona thing people are not, are not going to work some are working from home and everything so they end up if you're married you get 60 if you're married and you have kids you get 67 percent of what you you used to earn out of your 100 percent of what you used to earn and maybe 
if uh, still the two guys are not in good financial situation maybe you get some other additional like the child's money and everything and everything if you're a single person you get 60 percent most probably if you're getting 60 percent and it was enough to cover your rent your food and everything and everything you're not getting anything at all uh, in addition so yeah i would say the the yeah the population is kind of in german they they all i don't i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure correct somebody correct me if i'm wrong but i think the population in german is like Older people are more than younger people, so yeah, it's it's kind of funny it's a system over here. So, like I mentioned earlier, so many cars are lying on the yard, like they wanna be sold, they wanna be do, ding 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 ding. So, um, and now we have the corona issue; it's difficult time and everything. Guess what? The what um, what strategy is the car industry? You know, like. When I speak about car industry, that's one um, that's one backbone of the of the economy of Germany. Like selling cars, building beautiful cars, building like nice cars, and selling cars is the main backbone of German. There are other things like yeah, other type of engineering, but car is the backbone of this country. If the car industry collapses. I don't know what will be of Germany mostly, but like I'm saying, industrialization is big, but car has taken a bigger portion of it. So now the three major German car producers, Mercedes, uh, BMW and VW, kind of came together, went to the government and like, yo, you guys, you know what's happening? You, The go government has much reserve money in its, in its bank, you know, how people, pay. the amount of tax we pay over here, the, the government isn't broke, the government got money. So they went to the government like, yo, yo, people should help up, we should help out people manage to buy cars, like new cars, or it's either brand new car, or there's another one we call IRS Wagen. IRS Wagen is a car like <clears throat> somebody list a car for a year, or a company list a car for a year, and then they're given back to their, to their, to the car producers, like let's say this, let's say VW or Mercedes, they lend out a car for a year. It's not fully really purchased, just leased, and they end up getting it back in the after a year. So these two categories only: brand new and uh, one year old car. So one year old car is definitely always cheap than buying a brand new. So there's only these two categories are the one that the. Thank you, kind service. Of, that's the digital radio trying to tell me the traffic updates never mind about that so um yeah and they went over to the government and were like you guys should assist people purchase new cars in the name of like if if we manage to get rid of old cars out of the street you know it's good for the environment it's good for the for for, for everybody's uh, it's a win-win situation the it helps the government to to secure a good um, atmosphere, like you know, the, the German government is really focused on these kind of projects, like uh, betterment of the of the uh, atmosphere and everything. So they went to the government, like, "Yo, let, let's make a deal. You guys can uh, can give some uh, how do they call it bonus or something like that, like incentive for people to purchase new cars." And they were like making a proposal. If you want to buy an electric car, let's say something like Tesla or any other make, you end up getting like 6,000 euros in addition or deduction, I would say. Like the government give you six, uh, you go to, 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 the, to the dealer that you want to go, let's say in this case for electric cars and everything, VW also on the run, they are not yet that year, but I think the, the, the go-to guy now for electric cars is still Tesla. This guy, the made a uh, German industry to sweat on the on the car industry. So let's say you're going to purchase a new Tesla which cost around 50,000 or something. So they give you a bonus or deduction of 6,000 which has been paid by the government. Let's say you want to buy another, let's say a normal com common Manangi car. Let's say you want to buy like a VW for, for, for 30,000. They have Golf Electric, so maybe I don't know. I'm not so sure exactly how much they cost him, but I think the range of 30 to 40, I think I assume 30 to 40 it cannot be expensive like that because the batteries are not that strong. They're, they're still on 200 kilometers or 250 kilometers, uh, 
distance uh, on a full charge to to low charge so and now the other category is like now you're using the normal diesel petrol engines diesel petrol engines they're claiming yeah we could you give them incentive for three like if i give a certain car or somebody uh, a car that need to be dismantled or wrecked you get also like a thousand euros on top of it or something like that so you end up getting a bonus of four thousand you know something like that yeah and that's something that is still being discussed maybe probably coming next year this is a trick by the guy by the car industries to like try and shade off all, all uh, most most of the unsold cars for this year you know because you know cars are like clothes it's a model 2020 model if the year goes by 2021 needs to be built they need to build model for 2021 so they're seeing this like at the moment it's uh, not so many people in the urge to buy cars most of the people at home most of the people are uh, doing home office and everything like the economy is on a standstill or something other like people are earning less money than they usually do no bank is willing to give uh, at the moment uh, loans and everything because the situation is tricky you know if they give you a loan maybe instead of uh, giving you a car loan with, 20, with 2 percent they end up giving you a car loan with 3.5 or something or, or so on the sort so nobody is willing to do that so like everything is on a standstill and everything so they're coming up with these countermeasures to try and, um, and influence uh, the government in the name of like we trying to get only all the old cars out of the streets because why lie who no one I get a deal of, of four thousand or six thousand euros while uh, he or she is trying to buy a car. German cars which are driven here got a large uh, market on uh, from from. Uh, Eastern Europe and everything. People from Poland are always here lining up to buy just German cars. Like you, it's like it's a hot cake thing. So people will all will always dispose their old cars and jump on the wagon to get new cars. Never, but not minding when when the government giving you six thousand incentive on uh, buying a luxury car, you know definitely the dealership they're gonna top a bit of that, so you'll end up saving at the end maybe like four thousand euros or something like that. Why am I talking about this too much? So that's why I'm saying like at the moment I kind of just paused. I paused my decision to get this stuff. Reason being, I'm waiting. I'm waiting and seeing. I'm waiting and watching. Cause maybe at the end of the day, they might end up saying like, "Okay, we make we top it up again more." Or, like I just said, 2020 is yet about to close. We we're almost in the middle of 2020. Like 2020 is no not so many things gonna happen. So things might end up uh, in another way. So after all, now it's kind of tricky situation you don't know how things gonna turn up so that's why I just uh, let me let me stick to my old one try pop it up pimp it up a bit just hobby wise you know hobby hobby wise is just like this is still an old car so I'll be comfortable to do to try out anything I've got crazy ideas on my head like maybe even building a start stop uh, button remote start like you can start the car with remotely from outside, start the engine from outside. So those kind of things. I wanna play with this shit. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna try all the shit crazy thing I can do in this car. Cause if let's say I get this one, I'll never dare touch it. I'll never dare do such kind of things, you know. So I wanna, ju I just wanna mess around with it, to see how it's gonna look at the end of the day. Just, just for fun, like I said, just for fun. And all, all in that with the uh, definitely, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the cheapest way possible since I'm not, I'm not that loaded to, to, to offload too much money on this one. Since at the end of the day, I'm not gonna sell it for, for much money. So, like I said, just for fun, see how it's gonna go. Something to keep me busy on the side, you know, like, yeah, like a something to keep me busy. Just like I said, so. I've spoken too much for this one. Uh, let me cut it short. I'll be I'll be heading to my page and then now. Uh